Willow, here's a look at one of your solemn runs. Good turns in there. One way to make them even better is we got to avoid kind of reaching for the gate and rotating our upper body. We got to have our zipper down the hill. We got to be square down the hill, right? With upper body. Um, the problem is when we reach over like this, the upper body rotates. The hip goes out this way when the upper body rotates that way. The skis flatten out and they skid. So we got to avoid reaching over. So, you know, what do we got to do? Well, we got to get, you know, our head and upper body a little bit inside on the, uh, of, of the gate, on the other side of the gate such that it's in our way, right? Because we're, we're trying to clear gates when they're in our way. So this one really wasn't in your way, right? One way to help get in the way is be, you know, turn more above the gate. Here you came in, kind of going straight, and all your turn is down here. So... To review what we've been talking about, if if that's the gate, the rise line is that imaginary line drawn straight up up the hill. When it's steeper and offset, particularly, we want to make sure we're intersecting rise line with an adequate or enough space above. We want to be intersecting rise line with our skis still pointing out and away from the gate. We roll them up and we bring our turn shape back to the gate so right there well first off you can see we're not really turning around the gate turning around the gate would mean like you know you have half your turn above half your turn below the gate we're actually looking we're turning around some imaginary piece of snow right here right if i can draw it you know right there and thus we're finishing the turn on, on the gate with direction done and at that point it's generally going to be more in your way, that gate, All right? So therefore, you wouldn't have to reach over. You can see all of a sudden right here, you start rotating and, and reaching for that gate. Hip goes out. You know, but some good turn. We're, we're in the front of the boo. We got ankle flexion, right? We just have so much going on below the gate, right? Right. You ran straight at it. <clears throat> we want to be intersecting rise line, as I say, with our skis pointing out and away from the gate to bring some turn shape back. And you went straight at it and tried to turn below it. Obviously, it wasn't really in your way, but you reached over. I compounded the problem because no lo our zipper is no longer down the hill. Coming through here, um, you know, again, our not enough of the turn up, done above, so you can see your skis pointing straight down the hill when we would have wanted him to be point going off a little bit like this when we clear that gate. So it's a lot going on. It, the, the, the turn got kind of brought down the hill a bit, and therefore we're just not quite ready for the next one. All right, and they are kind of lengthened down here. So we got a pole plant. That's a good job. You know, we rolled them up in good position. Just unfortunately, we're just reaching over a bit. So... The hip just kind of went out a little bit this way at the same time as we rotated here. 
and you can see the skis all of a sudden a spray and the skis kind of flattened out. Oops. All, right. all of a sudden you went from a nice high edge angle here and it kind of flattened out. You also see some really good bend of the inside ski, which means we're on the inside ski. Right? We gotta be outside ski to outside ski. That had some pretty good bend to it. So we talked about um, that day about having a consistent width. Sometimes you get your feet very narrow. Like here, it's really hard to use ankles and knees and roll them up with our feet that close together. Then it widens out pretty far. So we need to have a consistent width. Again, there's too much going on below the gate. All right, give yourself more room. You want to intersect rise line further up. The other problem here is, you know, you, you want to start to turn when you get to rise line. You started the turn way too early. You started it now, and then you probably realize, well, hmm, if I continue to turn, I would hook the gate or be on the inside of it. So I'm just going to kind of lay off the skis a little bit, lay off, lay off, lay off, and now I can turn. And it's all down below so we got to be patient get ourselves out to rise line this imaginary line that's not quite right imaginary line drawn up from the gate and that's where we wanted to start turning when we hit that and bring turn shape back but we started turning too early and had to get you know, had to get by the gate before you really Make your turn, and you can see what happened. The ski's flattened out, and it's skidded. Uh, flushes, we need to use one arm. This particular one, because we cross-block the top, it's going to be your left arm throughout. Again, we got that narrow stance we talked about, top of the turn. Um, so you use your left arm on cross-block the top as you're doing. Use that same arm. You keep it out extended the whole time. Inside arm clear of the next two, cross block coming out. But here you alternate hands, so one arm throughout. <coughs> Again, we can see some narrow stances down here. All right, so we need to have a consistent width throughout. Throughout, we got to stop reaching. We have zipper down the hill, and we have to be more a little more patient. Get out to rise line, bring turn shape back, and more of our turn done above the gate. But uh, let's work on those things, and that should help.